Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, our source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on the workbench I'm going to be doing a quick update on my Zokai Mura Edelweiss kit in 135th scale that I'm doing. Uh, as you can see, black and white technique is in full swing. Uh, really enjoying this, this technique for the pre-weathering and the shadows. So I don't want to talk about that today, but what I do want to talk about is an application of a Ghrelin Earth technical color from Citadel. So I've applied this to the whole underside between you and me. Uh, there was some unevenness during the assembly process where the components mated and, you know, push came to shove. The filling I did didn't quite round everything out the way I wanted it to, so I applied a dirty layer of this on top. It's going to dry and shrink and crack. And that's going to create this appearance of uh, sort of a, a mucky underside. It's supposed to look like a dry riverbed or a desert that, you know, how the sun-baked desert floor, something like that. But on this one, it's going to provide the base unevenness for future weathering. And when I start applying uh, pigments in globs on here and then working them down, this is going to allow that to be, look even more uneven, and I'm not just, just going to be applying dense pigments onto a flat surface. So yeah, I'm just putting the one layer on here. I only had a bit left in the bottom of the bottle, so I reckoned I'd just throw it all on and see what happens. Um, what else we got? This thing's got a full interior. I've masked it off. I, you know, I... Interiors and tanks are great, and I'm not super happy with the work that I did on this one, so I think when the turret goes on, I'm just going to leave it. I... I don't think it's gonna, the interior is gonna have any part to play in the overall final look of this product. But yeah, so we got the underside showing you. What else we got here? So this thing's gonna be doing a drive by on a wreck of a VW bug that is from Black Dog Miniatures. We sell these, these are really cool. They're, I guess you'd call them wedgies, but it's just a base with a bit of a theme to it. 135th scale single component with you know there were some other parts like the back here and I think the doorknobs were separate components but basically it's a one piece cast super cool um, as you can see I applied the black and white technique overall did some pre weathering the the dark gray weathering has yet to come that's why it's only it's only white hand weathering so far but yeah I've got to look up some some references for burnt destroyed vehicles in my you know personal library and then maybe take a look for some cool YouTube videos on how to do burns things like that the ash around the base of the vehicle stuff like that it's just it's not like a recent wreck but I just wanted to look like you know like the combat in the area has been so intense that they haven't been able to clean up all the garbage that's been left around so there's that what else we got here take a look this is the cap for the turret gun goes out of there obviously underside there's nothing too detailed there there's going to be an alpine figure going into the hatch so it's basically going to be closed and it's got a full all of this is there and like the same with the other the rest of the interior i'm not super happy with the way this came out i was i've just been sort of Messing around with it between uh, airbrush layers, hand painting, doing a lot of that sort of stuff, and it's functional only. Like, when the figure comes in here, you're basically not going to be able to see anything else, and you're not going to be able to look up at it. So, I just wanted the detail just in case I'm at a, <laughs> a competition and some judge shines a light down in there, you're going to be able to see that there's actually different things inside, but, you know, to the naked eye, it's supposed to be closed up gun fills most of this section actually it's it's pretty cool I want to talk about the gun real quick um, so whoop. so not being a dedicated armor modeler the gun came in a couple of different components when they were put together there was of course the seam of death along here that I very gently ran fine sandpaper around filled it back with a couple of different layers of humbrol enamel and I reckon that that would be enough to smooth it over. But, you know, it overall, if you really looked at it, you just your eye just picks up this unevenness. And it was really 
it just sort of ruined the gun for me. So what I did was I applied uh, camo net around in 135th scale and then made some tie downs here. As you can see, used buckles from photo etch kits and yeah, just sort of cinched everything up, glued it all down with white glue. And uh, this is, this is uh, metal foil that you can get off of a, a wine cork or something like that. And I just cut it to even strips wrapped it around, primed them up with metal primer before spraying everything with Vallejo primer. So yeah, that's the gun, black and white technique again. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with the gun on the interior, I'm probably just going to look up some basic references and go from there. We shall see. Looks pretty cool though. I'm liking the effect. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Check us out at HighCaliberMinters.com for more awesome resin kits. And uh, stay tuned for more updates on this. I'm really enjoying this build. This is going to be at our display at IPMS Vancouver, the full diorama. So if you're in the area, come and check us out. Yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.